Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, as summarized by future Twilight Sparkle. Okay, so here's what happens. So the non-executor sends out non-imperials to not Tatooine. Not Wedge Antilles, I mean not Big Star Glitter, I mean not Wedge Star Glitter, I mean not Big Zantilles gets a piece of the map that points to the location of Luke Skywalker and places it in not R2-D2. Then not Darth Vader comes by in a not Lambda Class T4A shuttle, I mean a not Beta Class T2C shuttle and tears up the joint. Back on the not executor, not Lando Freeze, not Biggs, or not Wedge, or whatever, and they somehow manage to muscle their way through the Anaxia that would inevitably prove itself to be a formidable challenge in a spaceship that is well known in the Phantom to lock any degree of life support. I don't know, maybe they added life support systems to TIE fighters or something over the past few decades, but then why did the other pilots need to wear life support? Ah, never mind. Anyway, not Lando, not Biggs, crash, and not Lando thinks that not Biggs didn't survive. Not Lando meets up with the every hero at not Moss Eisley Spaceport, who earlier freed not R2 from a not Jawa. They take the Millennium Falcon. Wow, that's one of the first things that didn't require a not. From a Lord of the Rings troll and then blast into space where they're intercepted by Han and Chewie. Han is hauling not Wampa Labs. I mean, not Star Lambas, whichever. Anywho, Han says, I have a bad feeling about this. Because it's tradition, and after a whole bunch of CG mayhem, everyone gets away. But then it turns out that Darth Plagueis, sorry, that's just a fan theory right now. I mean, the not Emperor is angry with not Tarkin and not Vader for all the setbacks and find some time to simply drop the Gnome's title. Meanwhile, the heroes make their way to not Naboo and enter the not Mosai Sleep Cantina where they talk to not Dex. I mean, not Yoda, I mean, not Yoda Dex. But uh oh, there's a not Death Hoth, apparently. I mean, a not Hostar. No, I like the first one better. And not Vader aboard the not Executor is appealing to Vader for help, apparently. Is it Anakin's Force Ghost he's been talking to? Is it someone else posing as Anakin? <coughs> Palpatine. Sorry, that's just another fan theory. Or does not Vader think that the half molded helmet is telling him to do things? Bell things. We don't know yet. Then, not Lando becomes not Han, circa zero BBY, and tries to run, but not for long. Shortly thereafter, the every hero stumbles into the not Dark Side Cave from Dagobah, but it's actually part of the not Mos Eisley Cantina on not Naboo, and has a frantic exposition he vision. Even McGregor's voice was there and everything. Not Yoda Dex explains that the famous lightsaber owned by Anakin and Luke is calling out to her because, I don't know, lightsabers in the Star Wars universe have suddenly become the magic wands from the Harry Potter universe. The not Death Hoss, WMV, suddenly destroys not Coruscant, well, at least it was a solar powered weapon, much lower carbon footprint than the Death Star Super Laser, I'm guessing. Apparently, not Coruscant is either in the same star system as not Naboo, or space is just really compact in this region of the galaxy. Because everyone can see the destruction from not Naboo, and it would have likely taken years, if not millennia, if neither of the previous requirements were met. Propagation delay, propagation is malay. Then the Not Empire comes along, followed by the Not Rebellion. Not Vader condemns the every hero, after which Leia and C3PO appear. And all the heroes travel to Not Geonosis, I mean Not Yavin 4, I mean Not Geonosis and Yavin 4. Not Legend, I mean Not Biggs meets up with Not Lando again, and the latter is surprised that the former is still alive. They find the piece of the map that Not R2 has, but it's incomplete. Meanwhile, on the Not Death Hawk, Severus Snape attempts legitimacy on female Harry Potter, who uses Occlumency to successfully rebuff his pervy advances. The Not Emperor seems intrigued by this development, but before Not Vader can bring the every hero to the Not Emperor, the every hero Jedi Mind Track Stormtrooper 007 into letting her go. Back on Not Geonosis, and now been four. And they figured out how to blow up the Not Death Hoth in a matter of minutes, at which point Han, Chewie, and Not Lando travel to the Not Death Hoth and persuade Not Admiral Dalla, there's a reference only five of you will get, to take down the shield. While there, they meet up with the every hero again as the Not Rebellion attacks the Not Death Hoth and begin efforts to sabotage the Not Death Hoth. Han locates his son, Not Vader, in an area of the Not Death Hoth that will dub the Not Cloud City Core. Not Vader then kills Han while the other heroes watch from what will affectionately call Not Vader 327, at which point Leia pulls one of those I can feel what's going on remotely like Obi-Wan from episode four or Yoda from episode three. Take your choice. But let's remember that Han's actually a very bankable character in live action Disney owned franchise, so we'll probably end up being alive in the long run. I don't know, maybe a random probe guard found him in the last second and placed him in a back to tank aboard a Lambda class T4A shuttle and whisked him back to Corellia, where he's waiting around until the end of episode 8 to make his reappearance, at which point he'll triumphantly ask, So tell me, what's become of my ship? Anyway, Chewie completes the sabotage, the not bigs, I mean not which plays not Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader and ultimately the base is destroyed, alternate reality Vulcan style. But not before not Lando and the every hero fight not Vader. The every hero kicks not Vader Fanny and everyone ostensibly gets away. Real R2 awakens years after he was rebooted in save mode or something and flies the rest of the map back on not Geonosi and Yavin 4. It turns out that Luke is on not Kamino. The every hero ventures to not Kamino and finds out that Luke is now the not Obi-Wan, and the circle of Star Wars continues. This saga will never end. They'll probably be producing stories even after you pass away. Think about that for a second. You may never see the full story in its entirety, at least in your ephemeral physical form. Enjoy that existential crisis. By the way, what happened to A-Wings and TIE Interceptors, and for that matter, what happened to Y-Wings and TIE Bombers? Did both sides just on a whim decide to trade away all of their niche spacecraft so they could rack up enough credits to give their most balanced and or affordable ships a bunch of sweet pay jobs? I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me. And no, I'm not going to say may the force be with you. Peace and God bless.